Oh wait, that guy died. My bad. At first I was like, is he dead? But yes, he is. Okay, I don't think we're driving any forward. I think we gotta go on foot from here. Alright. Man. What? What are you gonna do? I ain't scared of you. Oh. I am now. To a point. Mainly because this takes forever. Like I said, that takes forever. Alright. Okay, we're in the good the good lighty right there. Um, anything on the path? Nope. Let's take a, let's take a turn here. Can we search this little uh like windmill? We can't. Maybe we. Oh, no. <laughs> why did I? Why did I? Okay, I don't want to talk about what I did. I thought that was a ladder. I'm. I don't even know why. I'm like, wait, the windmill. <laughs> wait a minute. I can't believe I thought that though. That is insanely uh, fun, and uh, I'm smart. Okay. The fact that I thought that was. That's just something. That is clearly something. All right. Uh, loot in here. I don't know why I keep going to the. I keep going to the poop shack, but God damn! What the hell was that? Wait, skeletons? Why? But why? But why bring skeletons? I searched the barn, but but why? <laughs> they well, they f I feel like that shouldn't do very much. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. You know something I just saw on TikTok the other day. I saw this guy being like, "Vampires are coming for us," all because of the burial of. The that was like a vampire or whatever, right? Or they thought she was a vampire. It's like, even if a vampire existed, you think that. Okay, fuck off. This guy's gonna get me. Though. Yeah, I was like, I'm dead anyway. But like, yeah, like, you think vampires exist? First off, wouldn't they have done something by now that's like. You know, like crazy. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, man. Wouldn't they have done something by now? I personally believe they would be done. You know, like they would have, they would have done something. But according to these people, vampires are, exist because somebody was buried many years ago, and people believe vampires existed. It's like, yeah, because that's a part of mythology. That's that's where vampires in the history of vampires even came from in the first place. So, like, is that really surprising? Okay, weird. You know what I mean, though? Like, I was like... I was like, how... how I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars. But it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Are they a lot or are they gone?
God damn. That works. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight him off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! I'm trying to fucking throw the... Hey, this is a lot This place is stopped! Ow! I'm trying to get the stage lights on! Fucking I'm sorry, why is this coming at guy coming at me with a bowie knife in the first place? You telling me they have eight thousand bowie knives I'm on so hand? I'm so glad you decided I'm sorry, to go like, it alone, Mr. Bronson. I don't shut up and shoot. I'm just saying, I don't believe it. Like what the fuck? Ow! We have to fight him off! I can set off that. the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, ow! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? Oh my god, I meant to do the other thing. Okay, sounds good to me. Well, fuck. See, like, the Bowie Knife guys do so much damage. And I just want to do any damage, really. Oh hi! Get the fuck away from you. from me. I'm gonna say from you. I'm <laughs> like what? But I gotta get that boy night. Gonna lurk while I play Overwatch. Hope you've been good. Having a trip. It's all right. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you, thank you. Hope your day's been going well. No, no, no! Why do you keep doing this to me? Do it for Barry, please, please, please! Them and their axes, man. Damn. Woke off, stupid enemies. Ah, damn. They really coming at me today. Ah, God damn, that was close. There's so many of them. Ow, my leg. That's loud.
Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. I guess you could Bright say Falls, that. Falls, rock and roll capital of America. I guess you could say that. Just a little, little, um, just a little enemy. Hey, you Al, know. this way to the farm. Excuse me. There's something there. I see that little manuscript, right? Or is these literally just lights? Oh, okay. I was gonna say if that was not a manuscript, I'm like, bro, like, goddamn. This makes me now feel like I'm more worried that I didn't get the, that many manuscripts than I think. I swear to God, I probably got most of them though. I'm curious. I really am, but I don't know. I don't know how many water or coffee things I need to, you know. I feel like I got all of them, but I might be dead See, wrong. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back Why for it he... once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Exactly. Why? We need to get this thing moved out of the way. Okay, so that's where they want me to go. Before they ambush me. You can stay there, Billy. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm leaving you now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I'm just messing around. Um, are we able to check this little hut back here, or is it locked? Yeah, this is locked. I think that I should be able to search that, but I guess we just have to go in there and do it. Since you can't go around, I guess. Okay, let's go up this and turn on the thing then. Wait, make sure there's no uh, manuscript on the. There we go. Okay. I I just I just want to make sure I get all the collectibles as much as I can. That does not necessarily waste too much time, you know. Like it wastes time a little bit, but you know, not not nearly how much it could waste. Hey, I think oh, Alan really? Here has something to say. Oh, God I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for Ow, granted. Blake. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? <laughs> Thought so. Oh, shit. That's funny. <laughs> he really is carrying that. Why is he doing that? You know, how does that ever... It's, it's a little questionable why he's just carrying that. But that's just me. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? Wait a minute, you never heard of them? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? I was gonna say maybe they're written in too. Which is not a good thing. Oh, I thought he was lighting up a manuscript. I don't know what it is. Sleep. We all spent <laughs> third oh, part of the night. We're trying to watch this. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? In Night Springs. I thought he was going to talk throughout the whole episode. I was like, we're trying to watch it. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. Bro. Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is kind of ready. Oh wow, who's that? You don't know him? 
What are you, Aunt Lou? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Is it... Isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the what? girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Okay. Hey, something, something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Interesting. Interesting. So basically, they just wake up. And that's it. Interesting. Just a little... I don't know. I feel like it's missing something. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Wait, what the fuck was that? I thought I saw somebody. <laughs> I thought I saw something just standing there, bro. They're really in Norse mythology. Hey, me too. Me too, me too. I love the Viking shit. looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Probably is literally a battering ram. We will use it as one in a minute or so. Let's say 1975, they're in the 70s. Maybe they disappeared within history like everyone else. Like darkness took it over, you know? It's definitely possible, right? I think that might just be the exact story of this band because we know because we've seen them and they were human but what if they've forgotten everything because they never Whoa, good going, Al. you know what I mean I see you Take them all out. Let's keep on moving. Let's keep on grooving. Let's keep on moving. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why we couldn't have just jumped over a fence though. Let's be real. <laughs> Where the hell is... Where's Billy or whatever his name is? Oh, it's the guy that moves around way too fast. Wait, did you just get shocked? I think that motherfucker just ran into the electric wire. I'll take that. That's a win in my books, okay? I, I'm i not going to complain. That is a win in my books. I don't think I can go to that house on the right, which is what I originally thought I would do, but no. I guess not. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. Fuck off, look at my health chest. Oh, 
Oh my god. They do so much damage, man. Like, those guys are just like, hey, I'm gonna take all your health bars in two seconds. You're welcome. It's just like, oh. Oh, crazy. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what I, did. I, I feel like the dodging mechanic doesn't work as well as it could. I know, like this. That's me running. I can't. There we go. The running and dodging is weird, though. Okay. Hey, this guy ran into the electric shit earlier. Now he just. Man, I don't. I'm not afraid of you. Like, that was easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why is he running at me like that? Ow. What I think is really annoying about this, though, is these enemies specifically. Like, that motherfucker's axe just went through the building. I don't care what you say. There's no way that motherfucker's axe was legit hitting me. I'm sorry. You guys just never thrown an axe in your life before, including the uh, the fucking what you call it. I hear you. Stick away. Bro, okay, that one was deadly. Close. It's weird that that guy missed. Ooh. Ooh. Stay back. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck, man. Those enemies really be something. The fact that it almost used all of the flashlight is what I was saying about the flashlight just not being as good as I wish it was. Was. It's gonna say would be, but not really the right word there. Uh, hey, Barry, are you are you sure you're okay? I don't got a good feeling that light's gonna stay on for good. Just saying. Something about this place. Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. <sighs> hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Yeah, but didn't the, uh, the guy took all the shit? Be careful, Al! Pretty sure the other guy just took all of the stuff that was here for it, so unless I'm just talking about using it, but like wait a while. Wow. Whoa! You okay, Al? Yeah. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? You just said, how many floors are there? It didn't look like it was this tall, did it? Or maybe it Oh no. I don't remember it being this fucking doll. But that's just me. Anyways, let's climb the ladder and see what happens, I guess. Probably nothing good, let's be real. Oh, it's a radio. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night. I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. 
And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier. Try to listen younger. to this guy. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. What? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear. Usually how it is, I'm not gonna lie to you. Thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. It's crazy how many people sure blame thing, our Pat. generation for yeah, things, but... Sure thing, Pat. The amount of people that should know better that do worse things is crazy. So... Can't really blame us. <sighs> Just being honest. Can't really say our generation's more lazy either. It's like, no, we just rather put in less work for the same... You know, like, for the same outcome. That's the truth. It's not having to do with laziness. It's having to do with, hey, if it's more faster to do something, why would I not do it faster? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, because it's fucking I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't the amount of things that goes I wasn't for, worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. And that goes for a lot of things, dude. Even... Ah, uh, maybe I should. Uh, you know, I could bring it up. It's not that bad. Even my, uh... Fucking stalker, pretty much. I got a bad feeling about going out there with this. But yeah, he even fucking told me some things that his dad did. And then basically said that that kids nowadays should get it. But basically his dad, I'm just gonna talk about it because it's fine. Basically hit him with baseball bats and belts. And there was this, this, his, like people, I've seen other people say it too. Where people will be like, that's not abuse, that's discipline. It's like, no, that's trauma. That, that's, that's trauma. That, that is literally trauma. <laughs> like, I don't get it. I got told that, and I was like, that was not fun. The amount of people that I've seen that have agreed with like statements like that, I'm just like, nope. Anything that causes your child to scream, especially in pain, I'm sorry. That is not discipline. That is abuse. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Like, I don't get, I don't get these parents, and I don't get the kids that are like, oh, I went through that. That's discipline. No. Like, I don't care if it may not have affected you as you as it could have but you do realize that that affects a lot of people like it like it might be discipline in your eyes because you've been through that it's like i know other people that have been through that which you know agree with me so it's like it's 
so bullshit. I've never fucking agreed with like this bullshit of like Oh yeah, that's that's discipline. It's like I don't think you know forcing a bar of soap you know down a kid's throat because they said a swear word even like the tiniest bit is discipline you do realize especially if the kid knows that literally soap is like fucking not good for you at all like it's poisonous that is not discipline at all especially when your kid knows that it's fucking soap it can kill you in general, the theory of if the kid, well, the kid should know, hey, I don't eat soap, that's disgusting. Could you imagine if the kid automatically had this, like, like, trigger or, like, this thing to always eat soap because their parents forced them to feed it to them? Just saying. Just saying. I will never ever agree that it is what they think it is. Ever, bro. It's not discipline. It's fucking abuse. And it's crazy to me that we complain about our own generation when we have fucking uh, parents and ow. kids like that. Is that you out there, buddy? Because of yeah. those parents. The but hey, the, to be on. fair, those parents are the usually the ones that complain about this, our generation too. So like, it all goes full circle. It really does. All right, let's get through. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate now. Looks Honestly, this gate heavy. doesn't even like what? It literally is not, mate. Okay. This does. I was like, that does not look heavy at all. Like the hey, fuck? I think that's the farm about. on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. All right, we mate. should feel right at home then. I mean, there's adults that don't even know mental health shit exists. Like, on, it's sad to me. There's people that don't believe in that. It's like, it's like, it's not something you don't believe in. It's, it's literally pure fact. It's like, how are you that deranged? Like, I don't understand. It's crazy to me. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Ooh. 